So yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely something that we need to do. Well, maybe I'll look at, to, at doing that this spring. Uh, you should do that. Oh, we should get started. I, that was my transition. I just, oh, wait. <laughs> we haven't done the thing. We haven't done the thing. <laughs> no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Hey, hey, I'm Michelle. And I'm Ronald. And this is Talking Squirrels. The Middle School Ministry Podcast. Now we can talk about this. But <laughs> I was too excited. I know. Well, that's good because you're hearing this and it's now officially 2020. Yay. 2020. So. The experience. You know what? I, I I keep seeing these memes that pop up and I like, they say like, guys, 1980 or 1970 was not 30 years ago. 1970 was 50 years ago. Like I can't, I can't my head around 30 years ago was 1990. That's that, crazy. That takes me a little bit of adjusting to in my head. So like the, whenever people are having like, like when I was in middle school, we would have like 70s parties and like 50s parties and they're still having 70s and 50s parties, but now they're also having like 80s and 90s parties. Yep. Like even uh, this Saturday. So Saturday we're recording this. Saturday we're recording this. Uh, my wife works at the gym. We're going to go work out and we're having an 80s workout. Stop at the gym. Oh yeah, it's gonna be hilarious. I love it. And they're like, "You should wear, you should wear an eighties, an eighties outfit." And I'm like, "I'm a youth pastor. I have already got this down. All of the neon. So, oh gosh. So I'm, I'm super pumped. I showed my wife my costume, and I think she both died a little on the inside and was super proud. Both of those. She's like, "This is my place of work. Yeah. Don't embarrass me. Yeah. Oh no. But, but also embarrass me at the same time." She's got the leotard and she's got, she's going like all warmers. out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's going all out. But. Oh, that's amazing. That's because. Yeah. So time is a thing. It's 2020. It's spring now. Well, I guess. Is okay, it, so is it, it's not spring. No, it's the winter. Winter. But you think of, I think of it in spring semester, right? So you have fall semester and you have spring semester. That's what I think of. That's yeah. I can see. I can see that. So. We've talked about taking a break, like in between Christmas and starting up again. And that's when, that's when I get a lot of planning done. Is that what you do too? Do you do like a ton of planning for the spring? I like to think I do. Oh. That's like my goal, right? Like, okay, I have these two weeks, two, three weeks of no Sundays, no Tuesdays. I'm going to get my entire like next year planned. Mm -hmm. What actually happens? I probably get like two or three months in advance. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So Mostly because I get distracted. Ooh, shiny youth ministry thing over there. Exactly. Uh, I'm like, oh, what if we did this? And then I start looking at all the other things. And then Pinterest happens. And then, you know, what, life. Uh, yeah. So what are things that you would like to plan? Like if you, if you, like if you were actually going to get done everything you wanted to get done, what all would you plan out? Yeah, one of the big things that my goal, especially for this year in planning out is – our sermon series. Yeah. For Sunday mornings, especially. Um, so we're looking at it right now. So we've got, we've gone about through March at this point. Okay. Of having everything set up. This is what we're teaching on. We have it. And now we're kind of like, okay, what do we do after? Mm. Yeah. So that's where we're going to be heading in the next couple of weeks. But, um, and then another big thing is, okay, what are we doing Tuesday nights? Um, we just finished doing a book series with our small groups. Okay. And so now we're, moving into uh, a different sort of series, something we haven't done before. And so basically I, my planning is, okay, what is every Tuesday night going to look like I'm trying to from get, now yeah. till May? Ooh, that's ambitious. Yeah. Try to get everything kind of nailed down. Like how yeah. specific, how specific do you go with your planning in those things? Ooh, I'm pretty much basic outline. Yeah. Yeah. And then about a week or two before it is when I'll kind of start looking at it. Mm-hmm. And being like, okay, like we can, re well, I'll do this now. Um, I think the first two or three weeks, I usually have pretty planned out like to the T. Yeah. And then from there, it's kind of like, okay, this didn't work. This worked. And then I can go and tweak the outlines of the rest. Yeah. I, that's kind of what we're doing. So with us, with teaching series, I'm all about, I, I want to this year be way more planned than normal. So because I've been doing youth ministry now for 10, 
oh uh, well no 11 years um congrats well thank you i've got <laughs> i've got some series that i'm like okay this was a good series it fits in with the goals of what i want to do so i i know that i want to preach this series again um mm. and so I've, I've got some of those plugged in and be like okay this is a four week long series it's going to be boom 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 and so some of that is there and then there's the okay what am i going to be writing that's new and fresh right uh and maybe like is addressing a specific topic that my students mm. are going through or parents have told me about but this year ugh, what i really want to do is have the every, as much of it planned out as i can to like what songs are going to play what games are we going to oh, wow. play and what are the announcements for like the whole year at least the spring semester. Like I really nice. want to nail down the spring semester all the way to the end of May. If I can, if I can do that, like that, that's ambitious. That's my goal. And so <laughs> it isn't, it is ambitious, but like with, you know, download youth ministry and other tools like that, I can, you know, I can know the games that we could play. And if I know, the, totally. if I know the, uh, the, the lesson and like the main idea, I can say, okay, this is, this is, if I'm going to have a game that kind of is more of an illustration, I can make that happen. I can plan that. That's really good. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, we have the knowledge of how to plan it all out. Right. Yeah. And it's, and with this break, with this time comes a chance to do that. And so we're trying to, yeah. trying to get it planned out. And so I have all of January done right now. Um, games, announcements, the whole thing. My goal is by the end of this week is to have all of February done. And then hopefully by the end of next week, all of March and April. Nice. Yeah. We'll see how well I do with that. I might be like you and like be really ambitious, but then <laughs> it not happen. But then we'll Right. I'm like, I think I'm going to get that far. And then. Yeah. Because I mean, with Chris, the reason is because my Christmas series this year, I was like, okay, no, I know exactly what I want to do. And then I knew how busy kind of the season was going to be. So I planned it out right. like this. And I was like, ooh, I, I enjoy doing it this way. Like I get to think a little bit more about what I'm going to teach on. Like it's in my head longer. Yeah. And so I feel like maybe I can come up with some better illustrations or I can change a story or even going throughout the week, I can just be like, oh, this actually goes right with what I'm going to talk about on Sunday. I'm going to talk about this. Yeah. And that's such an easy, right? Like plug in. Yeah. So trying, trying to plan mm -hmm. like that. Go for it. No. I would, so what about big events and trips and stuff like that. Are, are you looking at those things too right now? Yeah. I think for us, we're always looking at those. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's really like, Hey, during these two weeks, we, we're going to plan it all out. Uh, Cause we've been, you know, we got it reserved when we left in the summer for summer camp. Yeah. So that's kind of like for us, it's a constant ongoing planning yeah. for that. Um, we have a little bit of accountability with, because we have a parent meeting. We always have a parent meeting before we get started with our Wednesday night stuff, our small group thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And so we need to like, we need to give the parents the information. And so for our spring trip, our little retreat that we take, and then our mission trip, we need to have, you know, dates and we need to have themes and things like that all set. And so that keeps us yeah. to be like, hey, we got to, we got to give parents the information. And so we need to know the information. Totally. Yeah, we do a parent meeting at the end of May, early June. I guess it's, gosh, end of June now, because that's when they get out of school. Oh. And so, but yeah, we want to have all the information for our fifth grade parents who are moving into sixth grade. Did you say that, so probably, Did you say they get out of school at the end of June? Yes. Holy cow. Yeah. Wow. We, we only have about eight or nine weeks of summer. Ugh. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's getting shorter and shorter. That's insane. But yeah, June, uh, June 17th is their last day of school. So they actually, they changed our calendar last year so that everybody would get out of school um, the last week of May. Oh, wow. Yeah, so most of, most of our students are going to be out of school by the last week of May. And they still go back in August? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. No, so that's, they actually get a summer, which I really appreciate. That's really cool. Yeah, it's... It's been difficult for us. Yeah. We're like, cool, we have only X amount of weeks to start planning. Yeah, no. But that's all that's, right. The, the time that we get is super helpful. Yeah, I bet.
Because you guys, but you guys aren't year round, correct? No, we are not year round, and it's it's nice. Um, yeah, yeah. So we actually get that really big long chunk of summer, uh, and we honestly we do a little bit of planning for that in the spring. Like we know dates and things like that of what our summer events are going to be and when, but we don't we don't get down to the meticulous details of that quite yet. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the important thing for me for like the two weeks break with Christmas is I want to try and get everything at least on my calendar. Mm-hmm know what days we're off, like when we have breaks for student ministries, when camps are set, like get all of those dates set and ready to go. Yeah. And I mean, we, we do that a little bit because when we do our calendar planning as a church, we plan 18 months out. And so oh wow, we plan the big things, but when we also do that as a student ministry, we say, okay, we want, we want to know at least start and stop dates of things. So when small group going to start, right. when's it going to stop that whole stuff. Totally. But then like you and I are talking about now, then you have to get down into the weeds of, okay, what, what's the lesson going to be? What they're going to study? All that stuff. Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a set way of how you plan out what your talks are going to be? Like what your series are? Like, do you go through a rhythm? Yeah. We, this, for me, that's the one thing that I've developed in trying to say, what does a middle schooler need before they get out mm-hmm. of middle school? So yeah. our big thing um, that we're doing is I focus on four different four different uh, themes that can branch into a lot of different things. So one is know, understand, and share the gospel. So I mean that's mm-hmm. kind of important. A little then bit. there's uh, attributes of God because I want to Ooh, know okay. who they are worshiping. Uh, so that's a big deal. And then we talk about relationships uh, because. The Love relationships it. that middle school students form are important. So we talk about our relationships with parents, uh, with peers, and you know, with boyfriend, girlfriend, stuff like that, friends. Right. That. And then the last thing that we talk about is spiritual disciplines, uh, how to mm. how to own their faith. And so as I'm planning yeah. my series, I'm looking at them and going, okay, like what is what's going on here? And so the first one, first series we're going to do is twelve. It's how Jesus calls the disciples, and it's going to be talking about the gospel, right? Who Jesus calls and, mm-hmm. and, and what he calls us to do, which is share the gospel. Then yeah. the second series is going to be called retro and it's a look at old Testament Kings and it's how you relate to other people. Um, and so, uh, doing that. And so, yeah, just trying to plan through that because I'm going, cause you know this, we have middle schoolers only for a short time. So yeah. I want to be laser focused in what we teach and say, this is, these are four areas that if they get these four things, then I'm setting them up for success for high school. I love that. I really, I really like that, that way. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. That's always what we try to do. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think what for us right now, like we're in this weird phase of like, okay, what do we, how do we want to set this yeah. up? Yeah. And for me, it's usually just been like kind of whatever I want to do. We do. Mm-hmm. Um, where now I'm kind of in this way of like, okay, no, like we should have a specific kind of setup for where we teach and what we teach when. And how, what do y'all, what do y'all do with that? Well, that's what we're going to try and figure Mm. out. (laughs) Yeah. So we, we have some planning meetings coming up of, of really kind of starting to look at student ministries as a whole and where we want to take it. And And so we'll start looking at how that is going to affect teaching, what we're going to teach when we're going to teach something. I mean, that's interesting, right? That's, that's. Yeah, exactly. That's, you gotta, you gotta know where you want to end up. And once you know that you go, okay, how do we get there? And it sounds like that's what y'all are going to be working on. Yeah. And we haven't had somebody to kind of lead us in that way. And so this is the first year where we have somebody who is in charge of helping with that. So we're really excited and hopefully can actually put some uh, some vision behind what we're doing, that, not just doing it to do yeah. it. So we're excited no, for that. That sounds awesome, and I definitely want. Yeah. I definitely want to hear how that goes and what y'all come up with. Uh, me too. <laughs> I want to know what we come up with. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so we're we're excited. Well, if you're out there in middle school ministry land and you are a a big planner, uh, let us know what you're planning. And if you're not a big planner. Uh, let us know how going by week to week is going for you. Um, best of luck.
and I hope everything goes well because I, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy, Welcome back. Happy New Year. We are glad you're back. And thanks for listening as always. We'll see you next week. And let's get going. Please. Back to ministry. Yes. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm ready. Bye, everybody. Bye.